All right, thank you, Russ. And today, family and friends said a final goodbye to 20 year old Christina Matos, who was found stabbed to death in her apartment uh, just over a week ago. Her roommate and new husband, Eric Hernandez Mendez, is charged with her murder. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman joins us live in Raleigh where the crime happened. Bridget, I'm sure this was a very tough and emotional day for the family. Yeah, Angela, it really was. And the family was kind enough to let us be outside the funeral services. And last week, they were very open with speaking to us about their daughter as she lived here. And they would talk about everything she stood for in her personality. Well, today they said it was just too tough to do that. Very understandably so. They have a lot on their plate right now. They also just found out on Friday that she was married to the suspect. So there's still a lot of unanswered questions and theories about what led up to this killing. She is now a guardian angel. May she rest in peace, Christina. I love you. Christina Matos's brother talks at her funeral about their sibling bond, saying they grew up together in a one-bedroom apartment in New York before the family moved to Clayton. She was a city girl. She loved the bright lights in New York and its people. Court records say Matos was stabbed to death over Easter weekend, also the weekend she was celebrating her 20th birthday. Police found her in her locked apartment room. One of her roommates, 20-year-old Eric Hernandez Mendez, is charged with her murder. The two had wed about a week earlier. Matos's friends say she and Hernandez Mendez's marriage wasn't based on love and they were not in a relationship. Police haven't released a motive for the killing. Um, you're sad, um, you're, you're confused, there's a little bit of anger. Um, you, you don't have answers that you want. Will Kelly was Matos's youth pastor. She was always the one that was, was asking if people were okay, asking if they had what they needed when we went on our youth activities and things like that. He led her funeral services, praising Matos's kindness and relationship with God, saying she touched many people's lives with the love she gave. You're, you're just absolutely broken for those that, that, that loved her. And, you know, you hate to see them dealing with this. And, uh, and, and meanwhile, you're broken yourself. So it's. It's, it's tough. Her youth pastor told me that they don't know if they're ever going to really be able to wrap their heads around this violent death, but her family just keeps hoping for more answers and justice for Christina. Reporting live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News.